Good morning, everyone. Um, but first of all, welcome to Turkey. And we are very happy to see Istanbul, which embraces you with its unique history, waspers, and the nature. Uh, I'm Ahmed Fetayhan, and I'm working as a network director of Turk Telecom. And today I will inform you about our uh, company's figure and some, share some information about our 5G roadmap, fit trials and some use cases. Uh, Truth Telecom Group consists of eight different companies and each serving a different segment. Innova is a leading software developer and integrated in Turkey that's mostly focusing on the, on the software development and integration part. And TT Mobile is our mobile companies. Companies. TTNet is a broadband company, two telecom broadband service companies that uh, offer some fiber and the uh, HDSL based services. And two telecom international is the international arm of the group, wholesale data voice and roaming services for the international part from because uh, the local location is at Turkey is very crucial, you know, from the east side to the west side it's so crucial. So the telecom international connected each other. And the Netsi and Argeda, uh, the next generation telco technology and R&D companies, Argeda is located in Istanbul and Ankara in Turkey. Netsi is located in San Francisco. And Assist is a leader customer service solution companies. It's offering some uh, service solution as a call center. And the Savit is a leading and largest ad tech company. I mean education technologies company in Turkey. And the last one is venture capital company. We are looking for some startup company firm and integrated with our solutions in our company. Uh, let's take a look to telecom in numbers. Uh, you know, the leading operator in Turkey, integrated telecom services, and currently, uh, I demand that 5% LT population coverage. And today is more than 32 million fiber home pests already from includes in FTTC, FTTH, and FTTB. And currently, 51 LT base stations already, I mean, fiber connected. Our fiber infrastructure is ready for 85% today, but it's not being transformed because the traffic requirement has not reached that level yet. So its infrastructure is ready, and day by day, we'll transform from the, uh, the legacy one to the fiber one. And in all the cities in Turkey, we have more than 420k kilometers fiber networks. And the number of employees is more than uh, 28,000. And let's get to uh, let's take a look uh, uh, at the distribution of our total subscription number of 52.4 million. Uh, for the mobile part, uh, we have 25.6 million subscribers on the broadband part, it's 15 million subscribers, and fixed voice part, we have 9 million, and the, for the pay part, pay TV part, we have already 2.9 million subscribers. And if you see the two telecom companies, I mean, uh, as two telecom, we are believing and support and open platforms. We take an action role in large organizations such as INF, RN, Brentford, Forum, and Center. And we also collaboration in next G technology firm, like the Juniper, for example. And we run, we run RIC solution, run Intelligent Control solution. We are already collaborating and with the Juniper network, for example, and developing that equipment together with them. And 5G time saving transition, we have some details for the time saving transition because it's very crucial for the 5Gs. We have the unique solution for the 5G time saving transition part. And working with Argela, with our group companies, uh, 
or the SPN and MP based cyber security solutions. Today, Turkey's largest cyber security service center uh, provides 24 hours, 7 days monitoring, consultancy, and incident response services. And Turkey is in the highest capacity DDoS protection information infrastructure. Best in class cloud computing solutions is also the other part. And uh, we, we have some detailed slides for the preparation of the, the pilot with 5G test networks. And the first, the, 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 the most important thing is first industry 4.0 5G test in Turkey. It's done by our companies, Turk Telecom and Archelic, and the Nokia collaboration. Archelic is a the, the large home electronics company in Turkey. As the name is Beko in Europe, is also have a, some uh, abilities to get the, some uh, home electronics company. And th this is the first private feature-proof 5G wireless network in Turkey, and it's already working. Uh, we have some talk about the fracture timing and monetizations. Uh, you know the differences the, of the 5G from the other Gs, you know? Let's take a look at them together. You know, the 5G is, is not just capacity increase. Just capacity increase is not enough for the 5Gs. You have to update existing fractures. There is not enough. So 5G is getting with the really radical transformation for the infrastructure part and the network part as well. If you look for the maturity of the 5Gs, you know, release 17 is still on the way. And 5G advanced era, it's 2026, 5, 2026, it depends on the windy technology part. And 5G is also coming with the new model. The new model is not traffic and capacity oriented. It's service oriented. So new service are not traditional. So you have to transform your service part, the market part for the new uh, the service oriented uh, strategies. For the 5G monetization, that means 5G application and platforms will have to two or three of the total 5G revenue. So your I mean the product and service part it's more important than ever. And ecosystem and the service rate are critical monetization of the 5 time. This will take a time. Sure. Let's look at the competitive parts. In for 3G and the 4G focus, individual mostly, but the 5G is business and cooperation here. Mr. Garo said that the 5G is an industry and not the, the commercial part. And competitive was changed, we changed. Vendors and OTTs become a competitor of the operators, so industry players changing. So we are not I mean, they're fighting with the other operator, but also with the OTT players also, so it's, it's not easy. So, and uh, the maturity, monetization, competitive position, and terminal penetration for this spectrum. So, too many unknowns today in this table, but yes, technology is technology. 5G is 5G, so we have to transform. We have to switch them. This is clear. Uh, let's look for the LTE times in, uh, for our country and for our company. Even if it was a bit delaying LTE services offering, we waiting patiently and invested in LTE advance. And in this way, we are able to provide our customer with much higher speed compared to the conventional LTE. So, Today, we are discussing with the regulation and the government and the other operators. These are the options on the table. Are we waiting for 5G advance without hurrying in 5G investment or not? These are the options we are just talking with the other I mean, the players in the sector. And let's have a look on two telecom technology roadmap. Uh, telecom became a technology developer instead of being just a consumer. It's very strategic. And with several projects, uh, we became the first operator in the world to implement SEBA uh, in field. Today, 67k home best and 70k customer getting broadband internet access from the SEBA platform. 
without any problems. Uh, this is the first development. An open run option, uh, approach. We are some trial projects. Uh, open run supports in national 5G project, rig partnership, plug trials. We are trying to really understand are there any advantages or not. We facing lots of hardness with the integration with the legacy vendors and the open run platforms and the open technology. So it's not easy what the, I mean, the open run players that set. So it's not easy. We are fighting by trying to understand really it's it's okay or not. And we show that slides the uh, the R and D and innovation efforts of Tube Telecom. Uh, Tube Telecom Group's own currently is AD 161 patent, and then the AD, more than 80 one is the national, and the, the 60 is uh, international parts coming from. And you see the, the technology and division is some of them is STN, NFP is virtual and CBA and security part, and another one is secure and synchronization and other parts. <coughs> For the 5G use case, these are general slides and uh, actually in, in order to provide the end-to-end -end services reliably in 5G, you must have a strong ecosystem. You couldn't, I mean, the success have success story for the fact is by own by by self. To do that, I mean, the Tube Telecom is talking and working together with corporates and enterprises, customers, the vendors, universities, public institutions, some SMEs and startup firms, and the local companies with techno parks and the TT pilot on from the startup firms. And we are trying to transform our networks to getting ready for 5Gs. Uh, you know, the, the first essentials for the 5G is fiber, it's more crucial. So fiber infrastructure is more important. Today, uh, with along the Turkey, more than 95% is already covered by fiber. So the fiber infrastructure is ready for 5Gs. Day by day, we will increase that numbers. And some run and core network transformation, some terminal test, it's so important because terminal will be ready to 5Gs. And some domestic 5G person, of use cases, we are trying to understand and increase abilities and understanding for the 5G part. So these are realized use case example. As I said before, the, the, the first 5G ready industrial private networks uh, did by the uh, Archeric with the home electronics pioneers in Turkey. And the industry for that zero smart factory solutions, all the smart factory industry for zero and public safety and smart and gaming the most we already did. Turkey's first real time basketball max stream to um, 360 degree, the BR last on 5G this all that did. And for the, the fact is for that five gigabit per second, gigabit per second world speed record also achieved by the Turk Telecom in the lab. And for the artificial intelligence by Turkey is the first operator to test AI on 5G and new generation fixed network service management. For the 5G cloud gaming and 3D video parts, or the 5G radio access network, cloud gaming and 3D, 3D video applications also done. And the first online remit surgery with 5G in Turkey is already done. The surgeon using smart glasses performs surgery in real time coordination with doctors located in the other cities in also other um, the countries um, from the Italian doctors and the Turkish doctors together uh, with it in, the in the same surgery. For the 5G smart agriculture application, uh, we did uh, some use cases with the autonomous tractor uh, as part of the digitization effort in the agricultural sector, a trial of the 5G supported smart factors also did. Uh, 5G enabled robotic barista and robot cafe with uh, articles and video and capabilities at Atatürk culture centers, 
behind the streets. And also the Istanbul airport, you can enjoy and take a, a very delicious coffee from the robot coffee. And at the Istanbul airport, we, uh, we have some 5G helicopter simulation, a real flight experience with VR support in one, one, one to one and the helicopter dimensions. And to increase the, I mean, the efficiency, we are trying to remove maintenance and support application using AR. Uh, our field technicians equipped with smart glasses working in connection with remote experts at the central location. So working together with them using the, uh, using the AR glasses and some application for the cloud-based AR and VR remote education use cases we already did. So these are the, the 5G users. 5G leave tries with friend users for each 5G band in different cities where they did. 5G leave deployment is Istanbul Airport, it's midband. The world's first GNSS independent time synchronization transfer testing 5Gs. We have a detailed slide for them. And standalone core network transformation, 5G RAM and core multi-vendor test is already ongoing. Uh, initiatives that all did by our country. <coughs> These are the last slides for you. And the, 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 as I said before, and the, the synchronization is so important. Uh, the solution is completely satellite independent solutions. In case of satellite interaction, you know, the entire infrastructure will continue the service or atomic clocks. When the satellite connection is interrupted, there is no time limit and service will continue without any problems. And this is especially necessary for the simultaneous use of different bands in 5G. You know? And True Telecom is owner of the patent. And together with the NetInsight, we are developing the equipment we have some revenue sharing model and we are I mean, the, developing that equipment for the whole world and for the whole sector. So that's what 